Hi, I'm Moni Geyer, and I work with Women's Bible Studies. I'm recording this so that you can understand the plan that we have for reading through the Word this year. We invite you to join us on this journey. The purpose of the video is to explain how this plan works. There are lots of variations and you can tailor it to fit into your own life schedule and preferences. If you have any questions, please feel free to call or text me anytime. This information is provided also at biblestudy.ccflindale.org. This year, we are reading through the Bible chronologically with a plan. The goal is not just to check off a task. The goal is to hear from the Lord through the precious Word of God. So to do that, here are my suggestions. Step one is to pray. I suggest that you set aside about 15 minutes every day. As you start each day, please ask the Holy Spirit to teach you from God's Word. I pray simple things like, Holy Spirit, I need you to help me. Or Holy Spirit, may I learn from you today. Remember, the goal is to hear from God and learn of His ways. I heard a wonderful teacher say, the Bible is not about you. It's all about God and His plan. So we read it so that we can get to know our God better and better. Step one is to pray. Step two is to read and listen. So we are currently using the Bible Recap Plan, a chronological read which was put together by the Blue Letter Bible Group for Tara Lee Cobble, the author. It's about five to ten minutes of reading each day, which means you may read one to four chapters dependent upon the plan of that day. A chronological read through the Bible is not a page-by-page -page read. We don't go from Genesis to Revelations, but we actually read the Bible in the date it occurred. You might think that that's a lot to follow, but it's easy because it's done through the Bible app according to the plan. Reading your favorite translation is also big plus. You can even change translations if you want. Just get connected on our link and it will follow you through click by click. It's easy to do. So we want you to join our group. So step one is to pray. Step two is to read or listen. And then step three is to remember a nugget. As you read, listen and pray through each day's scripture and ask the Holy Spirit just for one nugget that you can remember. I am totally amazed that the Lord has a fresh word each day as I read. That's the Holy Spirit's job. I wish I had time to give to you the examples just from last week's reading. But let me say, it's the Holy Spirit's job to breathe through the Word as we read. So one, pray. Two, read and listen. Three, remember a nugget. Four, record a nugget. At the end of the reading, there's a click in the app called Talk It Over that allows you to share your nugget of truth if you want to. I just love this part. In fact, I journal these thoughts so that I can see what the Lord says each day consecutively for a week or a month. The Word is active and alive, so I encourage you to hear from God through the scriptures as a part of your daily routine and then record it. It is so worth the investment. Step five is recap. Then with another click, we listen to the author of this plan, Tara Lee Cobble, who will share about seven minutes on how today's reading fits in with the overarching plan of the Bible. You can watch her on YouTube if you like videos or listen to her on a phone app. So you look for the links that I have recorded in the description here and then go step by step tailoring it for you what you would like. The steps help you understand more about the big picture that's found in the Word of God. Again, if you don't understand, contact us. I do have one warning as we get into this read reading plan. I've watched folks try to consistently read the Bible. Sometimes they make it and sometimes they don't. So I've tested different ways to turn the failures into successes and make it to the end of the year or the end of the Bible. Step six is to respond with accountability. Several of us have had problems with getting to the end of the word. We just get discouraged. And so if you can just grab one or two friends and develop a small accountability group. You can meet whenever you want, or if you need help, I can help you find a group. And then you meet and discuss one to five 
questions which I have prepared for you, which is a part of the plan, and just discuss what you'd like. That is so important. It's like uh, iron sharpening iron or just enjoying the scriptures and going a little bit deeper. I know of several couples who are doing this together and it's a wonderful way to start the day. So you can set the time and place of your accountability group. It can be simple or it can be on the phone. And then I have five questions which I give to you. You can answer one or up to five and it's part of the plan. Did you know that George Mueller, a hero of the faith, read through the Bible 200 times in his life? I can also tell you that the enemy of our souls does not want you to read the Word. So accountability is an important part of reading the Word of God. It'll make a difference. Find other like-minded believers like the Bereans did and discuss this Word. It's like iron sharpening iron. If you want to do this informally, find your own group and start it up. But if you need help and would like a suggestion on what small group to join, I can help you. The info again is in the description of this video. I can tell you that I believe that if there was ever a time that we as believers should be in the Word, it's now. With my entire heart and the authority of the Word of God, I encourage you to consume and devour the Word of God in bite-sized bits every day. You'll be surprised at what the Holy Spirit does in your life and how exciting it is. Again, the details are in the descriptions of this video, or you can read it on BibleStudy.ccflindale.org. I know that I've given you a whole bunch of information. If you only do step one, pray, and step two, read and listen, great, do it and enjoy it. Please don't let my suggestions seem overwhelming. Do what you can, and then if you need help, contact any one of us. We have a team of ladies who will help you. Remember that everything that I have explained today is absolutely free. There are no hidden costs. The only investment is your time. Thank you for listening and please invite others to join you and me on this journey as we read through the Word.